good sounds. Um, we have a special guest for you in studio. And we're going to introduce these two awesome fellas right now before we play something really cool from them. In studio, I have Place Delm, not the metro station, the band, here at the C-Jello studio. Hi, how's it going? We're doing great. Thanks so much for having us here. Yeah, thank you for dropping by here on this really muggy, still muggy out there, eh? Yeah, very muggy. <laughs> muggy Wednesday <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, so to begin with, uh, yeah, would you please introduce yourselves and tell us more about yourselves to everyone here? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm Jesse James. I play the guitar, vocals, and drums for Place Delm. Mm -hmm. And I'm um, Reggie Ray. Uh, I play guitar and vocals. Nice, nice. That's awesome. Um, now, before we get into details and have a really long, extended chat, <laughs> um, but well, I really want to play the music that you've prepared for us today yeah. on this very special episode. Um, would you be able to talk about uh, this track that you have here? It's called uh, "Heroic," the Patriot. Yeah. Um, well, it's a song. Uh, lyrically, it uh, it is very. Uh, kind of politically charged we're not very politically banned but especially what's happening uh, lately I mean uh, you know stuff on the news you know Palestine Gaza all, all that th all that jazz you know uh, and as much as war has been you know existent throughout mankind it's just something that uh, recently that's kind of touched and inspired the lyrics and you know lately what I've been seeing it just royally pisses me off and it uh, kind of inspired that and uh, you know uh, uh, the instrumental it was written by Reggie and we collaborate. <clears throat> sorry, we collaborate. My my voice is still sore from <laughs> no. uh, shouting my lungs out. Oh, I, I can tell. <laughs> Don't worry about it. That's yeah. okay. Well, well, we'll try to get some tea from our VIP room if we have a virtual one somewhere around here. <laughs> right. Yeah. But yeah. Um. In terms, uh, Reggie. Uh. In terms of like the sound. Um. What. Well. What do you have? Takes. Well. Well. Let me rephrase this. What will listeners expect from this song besides the message that you mentioned, Jesse James, Jesse, what, um, about the sound, about the vibe, about the tone? Okay, so um, uh, we came up with the name Hero because of um, like uh, the sound of the instruments. Like at first, it's like the intro itself, yeah. you know, like. Uh, we we what we call it was a kind of a joke between us, yeah. but the the song itself sounded like a superhero song. Yeah, like the idea of. Um, and lyrically, uh, it's kind of a contrast. It's kind of. Uh, the the opposite of that it's kind of this man trying to be a hero but for the wrong reasons and he doesn't know it and it takes yeah. this first person view on his it, explaining his story mm. of why he be, he's trying to be a hero so interesting plot yeah. that you have there well we're, we're gonna take a listen to heroic the patriot uh, how, how would i pronounce this is uh, heroic correct? and there is a uh, you know uh parenthesis uh, yeah parenthesis uh, of yeah, the parenthesis. patriot yeah okay so <laughs> heroic in parentheses, the Patriot, <laughs> my Plas Dom. Uh, we got Jesse James and Reggie here in studio on Champs in the summer on C Jello 1690 AM. Let's 
Also known as the Patriot by a really awesome local band, Homebred. You should check them out. Plus Daum here on Champions of the Local Scene. Right here live on CJLO 1690 AM. What do you th- well, you're the folks who made these songs. <laughs> this song I was gonna say, yeah. what do you think? But I mean what do you think of hearing it again, this time on the radio, as opposed to like it- making it? Uh, it, it's 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 special. It's just it's it's so surreal in a way, mm. and it's uh, I, I don't know. It, it's cool. It's just awesome, right? We're getting exposure. <laughs> yeah, well, it's really awesome stuff. Um, uh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Now the next song that we're we're gonna play, and uh, I'd like you both to um, talk about it, um, is called the uh, well the abandoned uh, the abandon. Uh, yeah, uh, just abandon. 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 Yeah. Um, abandon. Yeah, so what's the story behind that? Uh, well, first of all, uh, uh, it's a very uh, abrasive hardcore track. So it's it's the it's, it's probably one of the heaviest in there. Uh, I'd say second heaviest. We have a heavier one there that we'll you'll you know you'll probably uh, get when we release the EP. But uh, it's abandoned L- lyrically. It just it's kind of uh, talking about just like how yeah, obviously self-explanatory, just like abandoned, but. Um, feeling uh just uh left out from either family society and everything and it's just so angry and cathartic uh mm. and yeah it's just very emotional track <laughs> i guess so you yeah, could and say that's uh, pretty raw like yeah just, it starts just basic yeah. but um yeah pretty raw pretty heavy and that's where i lost my voice <laughs> yes oh, i <laughs> see that was like what like three days ago right yeah three days ago uh, a six, oh, a, on sunday, sunday yeah, yeah. A, a six hour long recording process oh, we, we both did vocals uh for separate tracks but mm. for this one was a last minute thing and yeah, i just true. went all out i had to yeah. <laughs> all in all, all in yeah i guess so all in wow how was the creative process like like um. <laughs> oh, uh, it's it's very. It t- uh, we started this project uh, not necessarily as a hardcore project, but we always been lis- open minded and listened to a lot of music. We started off uh, since um, sort of 2012 uh, when we first met, and yeah, we, we instantly yeah we we got like similar taste in music and we connected. We wanted to do like some electronic uh, ambient stuff in the first, mm. uh, and then we, later on we just we both figured we both like metal hardcore, and we both recommended bands to each other. 
uh, Loma Prieta, La Dispute, Touche More, all those uh, Bay Area bands. And yes. uh, yeah, and we just wanted to do stuff like that just for fun. Uh, and it was awesome. It was great. Wow. And uh, yeah, both being kind of uh, knowing how to play different instruments for both of us, it's, uh, it's helped a lot. And creatively, it's, it's fun. Yeah, it's great. Mm. And, yeah, and and how and how long ago? Well, you mentioned two thousand twelve, but when was the band like uh, uh, established? Of, like yeah, of, um, probably like in the winter time, because that's kind of where we figured out the name Plastam. Uh, like a little funny stories, we were mm-hmm. waiting for the STM bus uh, on the cold winter night. We were shivering, and we were just joking around of what to name our band name, uh, and we came up with uh, Plastam because it's kind of a half joke. <laughs> uh, where we just kind of mock uh, other hardcore bands that have a French name but aren't necessarily from a French area. So we were just like joking, like, well, we have, we're legit because we live in a French province, right? So <laughs> it was kind of a joke. And uh, Plast Time sounded cool. At first, we're just like, yeah, it's just a metro station. But no, it's actually pretty cool. <laughs> and it has like, um, you know, the station has like a relation to us in a way. Yeah, uh, we <laughs> went for a lot of Chinese food. Uh, yes, <laughs> you know, Chinese I- food and like, you know, Steve's. Yeah, Steve's, right, well, that's right. Yeah. Well, with that said, it does it sound really fresh, but it really sounds ambient, cool, and hardcore. I guess so. Wow. <laughs> that's well, awesome. Well, it is. And I'm, I'm pretty sure based on the previews that I've checked out beforehand, it's going to be really cool. So take oh, a... Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, no need to thank me. <laughs> you, you deserve yourselves a pat on the back. Oh, thanks. I mean, I can't even scream for the life of me. Yeah. <laughs> But you'll end up sounding like me. Well, <laughs> you do. probably in a mosh pit somewhere. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> we have abandoned. is champions of the local scene on CJLO 69 a.m. The music that you're listening to right now are, well, throughout the entire show to be exact, are the music that is handcrafted and selected and curated by our guest this week. That guest, the band, is called Las Dalm. Um, tell us more about, oh, hang on. We got, oh, we got a message. Hang on a sec. We got a cool text message that has come into studio. Let's take a look right now. This is, hang on, quote, and it is unnamed with the phone number ending in 88. I'm not going to reveal your phone number. Don't worry about it. This is a message, and I'm quoting this, for my good friends Jesse and Reggie. It's your buddy Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Rex. <laughs> Hello, Rex. How's it going? 
<laughs> Doing well, thanks. Well, I'm not. I'm not saying on behalf of Rex here. <laughs> well, the message. Con- me- the, sorry, the message continues. Quote: The abandoned sound. Uh, the abandoned track sounds super tight. P.S. I'll be waiting for you guys outside. Smiley face. I brought a marker. Sign my shit. Exclamation <laughs> mark times three. Oh. You- Go! Cool. Well, we feel so popular now. Great! That's awesome. Friend support. Hey, yeah, there you go. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, Rex. Um, if you can find us, um, well, actually, stick around after seven, seven thirty after BVS. Steve will, uh, will navigate you through the hallways of CJLO and uh, have an autograph and probably a selfie and probably the Instagram <laughs> thing, maybe a tweet. <laughs> Uh, that, yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, thanks, thanks, Rex. There you go. And I did not reveal your phone number. <laughs> thanks, Rex, for messaging us on that. Um, yeah. Thanks, Rex. <laughs> yeah, who is Rex? Uh, Rex is a good buddy. Uh, he's actually yeah. one of my best friends, and uh, we're mutual friends. He's actually he is important in Plastam because he kind of uh, he. Uh, he brought us together because uh, mutual friends. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, he he, he 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 deserves credit as being uh, <laughs> kind of uh, uh, you know uh, bring us together. That's that's, that's it. You know. Just, uh, so thank you, Rex. Yeah. Thanks, Rex. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm pretty sure he's like jumping outside with a big you know banner. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll sign your 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 stuff later, Rex. Okay. <laughs> there you go, Rex. Okay, Rex. Don't worry. If you find three kids running around the hallways. Yes, that, that that was really fitting. <laughs> no, um, by the way, the track is um, higher ground by tonight. Still, um, yes, yeah, stick around for that. But in the meantime, uh, going back to what I wanted to ask um, tonight, um, what brought you both, or to one of you, to tonight? Tell us more about this. Uh, this really interesting and cool artist. Uh, well, first of all, we're as a even as a hardcore band, we like we said, we've always been open-minded about music, and we. Hardcore isn't wasn't our primary influence. It's just being into a lot of music and collecting records. That is a big thing that brought us together. Uh, and uh, uh, we started as uh, you know also electronic music. So this kind of uh, production was awesome and great to hear at first. Plus the uh, it's a duo, uh, and one of the 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 people the producers in that duo is is Lunis, and he's a Filipino Montrealer. Nice. And, uh, He's an amazing producer. Just uh, for me personally, he's influenced a lot. And but for both of us, production-wise, it's great. Mm. I mean, it's his, um, his cousin's a neighbor, actually. Yeah, uh, I've met him <laughs> before, and I didn't know he was getting popular. So uh, if you're listening, Lunas, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, just <laughs> wish you the best because you've been doing great in your career. And uh, just to say that I'm a big fan, and you're a major influence yep, for me. So. Yeah, <laughs> and we're playing your stuff right now in Chaps. Yay. Yeah, another local icon that um, that we should. Totally, totally. Take a listen to just a bit. Uh, we'll be playing. Um, okay, I got three tracks to choose. We're gonna be playing a track off tonight as we wrap up this this segment of our chat conversation thingamajig chill out session. <laughs> um, we have bugging, easy, easy, and top floor. Which one? Um, bugging. Bugging, sure. Bugging. Bugging. It's okay. uh. It's those. In- it's very interesting trap music. It's very original and fun. That, that's the. It's the whole. The whole EP itself is great. It's just awesome and fun to listen to, awesome. and and banging, very banging. It's something to listen to in a big speaker system to, to <laughs> feel and hear the bass. Have you have you ever um, brought a boombox? I don't know if that ex- still exists nowadays. Uh, no, <laughs> we didn't try it, but. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> yeah. How well, really cool. Cool. So we'll be playing. We'll be playing bugging, bug, bugging, bugging. in about yeah, a minute or so from now. Um, one thing that I wanted to ask as well, in terms of like online stuff, um, yeah. are well, not just the band in in general, but both of you active on social media and um, for this uh, for the reason being of promoting um, your band or mm-hmm. your projects and stuff like that. Let's start with you, Reggie. Yeah, um, um, we try to post like, like a single post like every day. Like, yeah. we, we try to try our best to like update the, the people that follow us. Like, yeah, j- just to keep them interested and yeah. uh, you know, to for for them to have something. I've always really admired and been a fan of artists that post 
the making, just their progress on making an album. Yeah, like behind the scenes. Yeah, behind the scenes stuff. That I go crazy and fanboy out of that stuff. So hopefully, you know, if we gather fans or even the people supporting us now, maybe they they find it interesting. Mm. Um, yeah, and it's it's always great to to share what we have. I, we've never been. Uh, contrived what we do mm. uh, we, we just really want to share it because it's fun for us and we really want to share that fun experience with other people too mm. have you ever felt bad for like over sharing like this is what I had today oh here's a photo of like this <laughs> equipment that I saw or uh, something like that. not really but when it comes to coffee we we post a lot of stuff about coffee especially on Instagram uh, <laughs> coffee is what uh, is we're, we're well him mostly yeah well <laughs> with us, I guess but we coffee is awesome <laughs> so you're more of a coffee person yeah right? we, we both love coffee oh, we okay. are yeah we are coffee people <laughs> we are um high five that's number one because I am a coffee person being in being a rookie journalist that, right. that is very required on awesome. my head. <laughs> it's 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 a necessity that's that's one thing um in terms of like coffee like don't have to go into any specific any kind of coffee. I know it's a little trivial, but like any kind of coffee blend that okay. you prefer. Oh, who wants to go first? Oh, uh, it's just a, my favorite. It's mocha. It's yeah. A uh, uh, little bit of promotion and uh, <laughs> oh. yeah. Myriad, all the way. Yeah, if you know uh, Café Myriad. Café Myriad, like, uh, on McKay. Yes. That, uh, yes. Honestly, it's the best coffee I've tasted in the city. Uh, it, best mocha in town. Best mocha in town. Best mocha in town. We, pre- we, we worked on a lot of music, mixing music, brought a laptops there. That's a lot of a lot of past dumb stuff, recording-wise, has, has been done in Myriad. <laughs> yeah, that's like our uh, outdoor studio. Yeah, right? it's our outdoor studio. Aha, uh-huh. so maybe I've seen you at some point, probably from like two years back, and never knew you both. Oh, well. <laughs> Coincidence. <laughs> Coincidence. That's Small cool. world. Um, this reminds me of like hanging out, me hanging out with friends of mine at Myriad on like early, early mornings. And maybe I've seen like two up and coming musicians <laughs> do some really cool shit. Sorry, <laughs> I had to swear. Um, can reprimand me on that. Sorry. Um, but I mean like really cool stuff. And who, who knew that two years later I'd be chatting with these two cool folks awesome. here in the Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Well, now we know. I just need a double double. I'm very happy. <laughs> yes. We continue our conversation with Plus Darm and let's welcome them back in. Welcome back. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, how's it going so far on this uh, on this really fast paced hour? Great. Uh, we well, uh, three of us have just bonded already. You know, we have so much things in common, and that's so great. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really glad because it's like I've well, I get I don't know if this is part of that indie vibe thing, but I've I'll admit I've never heard of your band or um, of your music until now, or until recently, and I'm like, yo, there's so many things oh. that we have in common, music-wise, and also something really interesting that I wanted to mention, and it's an unavoidable thing that kind of gets brought up, but okay. Let's face it. I do. I do host and produce a Japanese rock music program. That's a fact. That's, That's true. Great. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, at the same time, I am of Filipino ethnicity. And so we are. It's, also. It's so we are. What so, a coincidence! What a coincidence! <laughs> and this is and this is what I actually want to bring up. Right now, you'll be hearing this track by Wolf Parade in just a bit. We're not going to be playing that right now. Just going to turn that down for a few moments. But yeah, I want to ask. Um, being being Filipino and also an indie band, or being really interested in um, indie rock um, kinds of music, right. um, how does it feel? Uh, personally, for me, uh, I always thought I was uh, different from most of the Filipinos I knew. Mm-hmm. Uh, not hating on them, it's just I always felt like. Uh, uh, I was yeah that I, I was more uh, indie I guess I don't know <laughs> some could say I was a hipster and I, <laughs> I don't mind I, I'm probably a closet hipster and hey there's nothing uh, wrong with being yeah. a hipster I mean yeah. It, but yeah um, what I want to ask about like uh, about that um, since both of you are Filipino um, in terms of culture music um, growing up here um, we, we've been chatting about this off the air earlier um, you were born here in Montreal, right? Yeah, I yeah. was, yeah. Yeah, so um, how is it like 
um, growing up here in a very di- very multiculturally diverse city oh, it's like great. Montreal. It's great. That that's one of the reasons why I love the city and it has you know environment has a huge influence on what you do later on life and what you know interests and hobbies you, you love uh, later on in life and for sure that mul- the the whole aspect of you know multiculturalism and diversity is what made me kind of appreciate diverse music. I'm not. Uh, I have no prejudice against what I enjoy uh, any kind of genre of music and uh, you know it, that's just the whole culture here in Quebec you know just appreciating and welcoming diversity mm, cool uh, um, how about you now you mentioned this a little bit off the air um, you were born here but you moved here too uh, to uh, to Montreal not too long ago right yeah I came here uh, last December 2011 yeah so, so uh, uh, yeah, go ahead, continue. Um, what's the question? <laughs> oh yes, um, did <laughs> sorry. you? Uh, sorry about that, because uh, I was going to lead into ask. Um, did you experience any um, kind of culture shock? Um, not really. Like, um, like myself is like, I'm a little bit influenced by, you know, like northern stuff in a way. Right. And uh, yeah, like, I I know like a lot of people here too, like like Filipino people. I I meant. Right. So it's it's kind of like comfortable in a way. So and, and that's the thing that attracted me and surprised me about Reggie when I first mm-hmm. met him is like, wow, I never knew you're from the Philippines and I never knew you'd enjoy this kind of music. And that's why he he was the one that uh made me discover another side of Filipino culture and music that I never knew existed, mm. which is underground Filipino music. And I always thought <laughs> Filipino music was just about pop music, really cheesy <laughs> pop music. And I never knew this underground side of Filipino music. And that's really great. Now, now, now this is actually where, th- this is actually the part of the show where I can actually test you <laughs> okay, a little so, bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie, don't cheat. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> a lot of the bands I mentioned earlier, you do know by heart. But I mean, um, I mean, just to give off a disclaimer here, um, we do not judge any uh, pop, rock, or any other kind of stuff. Of course not. Of, of stars. <laughs> no, no, no. But for the sake of this, um, this conversation, we're going to be talking about them in a in a very lighthearted and constructive and maybe interesting kind of way. Right. Hopefully that doesn't um, offend anyone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, when, you, when you mentioned um, Filipino artists, you, may, uh, you mentioned Piolo or something? Piolo Pascual, yeah, because that's used like a childhood just guy that stuck with me because we watched movies and listened to music uh, and for a while I, 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 I sang his songs when I was a kid really? Uh, yeah I uh, just sang along to the songs the car when my dad played it and <laughs> looking back at it it's it was it's just embarrassing <laughs> but ah. you know you never know he probably subconsciously influenced me <laughs> You know, like music. You know. I mean, he's he, I, I, he's, he's still a pop artist, from what I yeah, remember. Sure. Yeah, when I was growing up there, disclaimer. I did grow up there in the Philippines, so yes, I've been exposed to Piolo myself. Just a disclaimer. Okay. Uh, um, but besides the Piolo Pascual, Claudine Barreto, and uh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> whoa, flashback Philippines. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep going. No, um, seriously though, um, and. This is where um, Reggie, you, you can like barge into the conversation. Um, bands like the Eraserheads. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Wanda Cruz band. You, uh, who mentioned yeah, Wanda Cruz? Yeah, big, yeah, big fan. Uh, my dad is a huge fan, and I grew up listening to him because uh, he played all the cassettes and everything. And I love them to this day. They're very influential, and they're so awesome. They're great. Mm-hmm. They are. They, uh, st- uh, they're like a sto- stoner rock, basically, or really, they, they, or blues rock, whatever you call it. It's Looking back at it, and you compare it to the, the the Western influence they had, they're so they're awesome. They make so like catchy riffs, and they're just great. Ang you know? uh, bimbo. Oh, that's a uh, race rat. Oh, okay. Uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> oh, um, let me see. Um, okay. You failed the test. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, what if I mentioned shakul? Yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. Okay, yeah. good. Um, uh, cheese. Of course. Okay. They're pretty big. Oh, uh, there was another one. She shot. They're, they're called uh, Castle now, by the way. What? Castle. Okay, yeah. Now I know Castle because you introduced them to me, but I never knew about cheese. Okay, listen. When I was growing up, I was introduced to cheese as Castle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Castle. Oh, no, like, wait. Cheese. Sorry. Anyways, yeah, you yeah, get the idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah Castle now. Like, uh, but it's spelled with a Q though. The like Q U E S O. Ah, very classic. Yeah, I, I like Castle because uh, he introduced them to me, and they're great. Mm, River Maya. 
Of yep. course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what was the other band? I'm trying to remember. Uh, I'm thinking female fronted ones at this point. Up Dharma Down. Yes. Up, Up Dharma, Dharma Down. Down is yeah. Awesome. He introduced me again to it, and it's great. It's great. It's one of my favorite. Um, Kichi Nadal. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she's great. I, I only know that um single. Uh, I want to mess up the Tagalog. Wag mo wag mo sasabihin. Hey, <laughs> there you go. You pulled it off. Konti ang Tagalog ko. <laughs> Folks, yeah. Filipinos have taken over uh, <laughs> CJ Lo here. No, <laughs> no but um, yeah, no, you got it right. And uh, yeah, Kitchen Nadal, um, oh, Tagalog indie rock OPM. O- OPM for, for listeners out there is called Original Filipino Music with yeah. the letter P. Yeah. And a lot of the artists that we've just mentioned are ones that fall under this umbrella mm-hmm. yeah. for the most part. Yeah. Yeah, there's actually a lot more artists that's. Yeah, it's really awesome. There. Like uh, mostly like are undergrounds that that's, that are not getting like proper yeah, support. No, exactly. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That, and that's the whole thing about underground music. You literally have to dig underground just to. Yeah, to the music there is yeah. pretty active. Yeah, and that what Reggie made me discover is just till this day is just stuck with me because in a way it looks back at me and I look back at my nationality mm. and I'm like, wow, I'm Filipino and I never knew about this thing and it makes me kind of proud that I'm Filipino and I've always been proud, I guess. Mm. Like, you know. Probably more prouder. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Especially mm. with this new thing that I discovered. Right? Yeah. Well, good for you on that. And, and how about for you who has grown up in the Philippines and then moved here to Montreal and it's like, wow. Yeah, I like Montreal because uh, it's pretty, um, what do you call this? Like, um, open-minded. Yeah, or, open-minded. Yeah. And like, like, there's a lot of arts out there. Like, yeah. There's a lot of artists. That's the thing I love about Montreal is like they're big support supportive for arts yeah. in general which is uh, and it's much easier for us to to get it out there and and we know that we can find a certain as much as you're an underground genre we, we know you can find maybe a certain group of people that would enjoy that music because mm-hmm. it's so diverse in here mm-hmm. yes has the language barrier ever got in the way in terms of making music so far like uh, i well considering <laughs> how quebec is yeah uh well a uh, place down the name is french so that's a big Middle finger to you, <laughs> but no, I'm joking. Uh, well, um, I, 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 I did school, uh, French school, my my whole childhood life until I started university. Mm. But uh, for, for for me personally, it's not been anything. I mean, yeah, but, James uh, is like my translator. Yeah, oh, I guess really? so. Yeah. <laughs> so so for instance, is, is, si je dis quelque chose en français, que tu peux comprendre? Uh, oui, précisément. Uh, précisément. <laughs> I understand. I understood that, but um. Yeah, I can't. I can't um, respond. <laughs> but I, <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of no pleading. Like that's a term. That, yeah, that's term. a Filipino yeah. joke. If you understand the Filipino listeners out there, uh, yeah. Reggie likes uh, nose bleeds I'm when right he now. talks <laughs> French. Yeah. Well, this reminds me about the time when, um, when I did the reverse. I, my first language was actually English, and yeah. then Filipino came afterwards. But I only started talking in Tagalog per se okay. when I was in high school. And oh man. <laughs> the, the amount of blood that came out of your nose. Oh, oh it was a lot. And, and, I, and I used to work at a side street restaurant, those, those carinderias. Oh, okay. oh, yeah? Yeah, it's pretty so, cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. Those side street restaurants where you, where you give off the food in like, front of oh, everyone. That's yeah. great. That's yeah, awesome. Where, awesome though? In Mandaluyong. That's another town. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I know that, that. I know that place. Okay, great. That's yeah. Great. Which which is, um, uh, well, not really, to be exact, Reggie's hometown, but. Yeah, but pretty close. Like, uh, right, a bus away. Okay. a bus away. Wow. A bus okay. away. Yeah, <laughs> to uh, to Quezon City. Mm-hmm. Um, well, before we go, uh, we are heading to the top of the hour. I just realized this. Oh my gosh, it's three minutes before the top of the hour. We're we're gonna try our best to play the song uh, that we have prepared. But first, um, is there anything that you want to mention? You have about two minutes. Here you go. Well. EP is coming out very soon. Uh, by the end of the summer, it should be out. Uh, really hope that you guys get to, to see it, uh, or he- uh, sorry, hear it. Uh, because it's been kind of almost uh, two years in the making, uh, and a lot of our greatest, like our passion, and just are f- so much fun with it. So we really hope you get to see it. Uh, our Facebook page is uh, facebook.com slash band, and there's a trailer you can check out on YouTube, uh, and, yeah. just, and follow us if ever. You know, and we'd really appreciate your support. Yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks so much. Mm, awesome stuff. How about you, uh, Reggie? Uh, I don't think uh, 
I have something to say. I just want to give a shout out to Anne. That's it. Oh, yeah. Anne and uh, my friends in the Philippines, too. And oh. my, my dad. <laughs> <laughs> and a shout out to my brother because I, I owed him a shout out. <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much, Plaz Dom, for dropping by here at the CJLO studio. Please come back. We have yeah. so much to talk yeah. about. Thanks so much for having us here. Thank Already you so much. This, yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Yeah, and thank you to Stephanie D, who has uh, done all the work. Oh, yeah. Thank you, yeah. Stephanie. Yeah. I thank forgot you. to let you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Without you, this wouldn't happen. So thank you so much, Stephanie. And we really need to, we really need to chill and create dig again. Exactly. We're, we're all going to chill out at some point soon and hopefully very, very soon. Right. You're always welcome to drop by. And on that note, that is my cue to head out. Coming up next. Yes! It didn't feel like an hour at all. It's like I, 10 minutes. I know, right? Awesome. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's, it's great. Thank awesome. you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Concentration is on Okay. Uh, we have, uh, you know, Toad? Yes! yes. Holy oh, shit! The drum here is an exact uh, inspiration. Not only that, it's major inspiration. You don't know how much I fanboy over Toad. Oh, wow. <laughs>